Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we're gonna be learning to make this crop to beat music video. Generating this effect in a very easy way. So, without any delay. Let's get started. Alright, so I have a video in my project. Let me drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. Let me show you what this video has got. There's this lady dancing here. Perfect. And we'll be generating the crop to beat effect at the end here. So I'll first add my audio to the right side uh, timeline here. And we'll be generating the you know the crop to beat effect uh, as soon as you have these beats here you can see the spikes in the waveform of the audio track so we'll be adding the crop to beat effect at this point here so in order to do that i'll first click on this razor tool or c on my keyboard and cut this video at this point just like this once that is done I'll go to the FX panel and I'll simply type in crop and you can see that we have this crop effect in the transform folder and drag this onto the um, right side video here. In this case, it's the second, second half of the video here. So now, all you have to do is click on this toggle animation for all the four properties left, top, right and bottom just so that a keyframe is created at the first frame. And now all you have to do is select this crop video, I mean the crop effect here and you can see that there's this, you know, markers appearing here with which we can cut each one of the, you know, uh, property here. We can tweak these properties based on this here. So um, at the first frame of this second portion here, make sure that you cut this video to the desired portion and then move six frames forward here and at this beat here I'll change the value of this crop uh, portion here the crop effect I'll add something like this it all depends on how you want it to be I'll move six more frames forward and I'll then change this value just like this it can be quite random so it all depends on you let me fast forward this for every six frames that i do going forward and for the last beat move six frames forward and then increase the value to the maximum extent possible so that the values go back to zero for all these things and the entire video is shown up all right we're done with the effect this is how it's gonna look like when i play it perfect this looks good I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial